Hello and welcome to yet another Photoshop tutorial. Um, today we're going to be looking at how to make a regular portrait into uh, a frosty version. Um, I'm going to be looking at uh, the saturation and coloring of it. I'm going to be focusing on uh, texturizing and uh, then we're going to f uh, be looking at the contrast. To begin with, um, I'm going to make a group called uh, Color and I'm going to focus on um, first of First of all, uh, desaturating in the image a bit. When people get cold, they, their blood leaves their, um, their skin, and uh, that's why we have less, uh, less red in the image when we're cold. So we're gonna, gonna replicate that. So I've desaturated the image. I'm gonna do a uh, color balance where I'm gonna pump up the cyan and blue, um, pulling out the yellow and red in the image as well. Um, um, this is the midtones, the regular s setting on the color balance. The, um, I'm going to do a, s a secondary color balance. Just going to be adjusting it. Uh, secondary color adjustments here for the shadows. So we're going to put some of this blue and cyan in the uh, shadow areas as well. So as you can see here already, we have a lot of um, pulled out of a lot of the warmth that we usually see in, in regular portraits. Um, and uh, we are we are actually getting there. I'm gonna be applying some of these um, some of these textures as well. Um, and uh, I've just uh, I've just googled uh, ice texture and found some uh, large images that we're gonna be using for this. I'm gonna place it over the the uh, the face. Turn down the opacity a bit so I can see what I'm actually doing. And then I'm gonna do the warp tool so I can warp the texture around the face to do a, like a wrap around. Uh, and this this sometimes helps with when you're working with textures to uh, to make it look more more believable that the textures are actually wrapping around the uh, the the given uh, surface or the given uh, object. So that's what we are doing here. Um, it's not that important for these, but I'm I'm just doing it as a as a thing to be uh, aware of. I'm gonna cycle through some of the the blending modes to, f to find the ones that. I actually do the job best, and I, I think I think actually hard light is um, is doing a pretty pretty decent job. Um, look at how it it affects the uh, the skin as well. Now what ice actually does when it's on top of something, it makes things brighter. It uh, because it's a brighter surface and it it breaks light better than regular skin would do. So I actually want this uh, bit of brighten. Um, on it, but we don't want it to, to burn out too much. Um, I, I'm adjusting the curves a bit. Honestly, we can get all the ice texture without uh, having it doing too much about the uh, the luminosity of the image. I think this is pretty pretty decent. I'm gonna do a mask, um, and instead of masking away where I don't want it, I'm gonna fill out the mask with black and then paint back the effect where I want it with a white brush. I have a pretty low uh, flow, so I'm just I'm just painting back this texture layer on on the skin where we want it. And here you can see the before and after. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put down a paint with light layer, which is basically a dodge and burn layer below the uh, the texture layer. And um, I'm gonna lower the flow to five percent. Uh, and I'm gonna paint out the highlights of the image. So um, the reason why I'm I'm doing this is uh, First of all, I, I normally do this, but I want to especially do this and perhaps exaggerate it a bit um, in in this kind of image to to make it look like we have more reflective surfaces below. Um, so I'm I'm finding all the highlights I have and, and painting them, um, which is when this is put below the ice, it's gonna make the ice look a bit more reflective. So it adds a bit of more, um, a bit more shine to it, and makes it look like he has this frosty layer on top of her. Yeah, here yeah, I'm, I'm cycling through some of the uh, textures, uh, and I actually think the one that we used um, works best. So I'm pasting in more of these, and um, I'm gonna do one of these texture layers for each body part. Uh, instead of one um, global one.
making a new layer, new blank layer, putting it on the hue such hue, choose a color that's, uh, I th yeah, something like that. And with a regular brush, I'm going to be painting the uh, the lips a bit more. They still had too much red in it to be uh, to be look like she's she's frozen. So I'm going to be painting in this this uh, blue green color. Now, if I'm not happy with the um, the exact color, I can always go in in uh, in image and choose huge restoration and just adjust it a bit. Uh, yeah, I actually think I'm going to be doing that. Um, so you can see, find a color that's more suited for this. Yes, looks pretty good. I'm going to be lowering the opacity a bit so it blends a bit better. And I'm also doing this same color as we have it here. Um, painting some of the um, some of the edges of the image just to to have some different tones of blue and green in the image so it doesn't all look like the same now I'm gonna make a restoration layer and go into the uh, the blue tones and um, shifting a, a bit more towards the green as you can see here and again I'm uh, I'm just painting this effect on some parts of the image so we have a bit more dynamics in the uh, in the colorization of the image We're gonna be doing a layer called no a um, we're gonna be doing a folder called light uh, where I'm I'm making a new empty layer and I'm just gonna gently tap with the mouse with a flow around fifteen percent with a regular white a soft brush to um, to imitate a, a light source coming from uh, from the left. This is not necessary for the for this kind of image, but I think it adds some uh, it adds some um, some good effect for this image. It also helps making the image less contrasty in the areas that are affected by this light, um, and this is a pretty important part of uh, of, uh, of 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 making this a bit more realistic. I'm going to be doing a color fill and changing the blending mode to screen. Uh, what this does is it's going to be taking all the uh, dark uh, dark colors in the image and making them this color instead. So you can see here we're basically putting some blue in the shadows. And that's also lowering the contrast a bit. It's taking away the darkest parts of the image and lifting them up to be a blue color instead. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a uh, paint with light again, the Dutch burn technique. Flow and 5%. And I'm going to enhance some of the uh, parts of the image, the eyes, uh, as you can see here. And I'm, I'm going to be uh, also enhancing the teeth and the lips a bit. And some of the glow, glowy parts of the image also going to be enhanced. Alright, going back to the glow layer and um, also adding a bit of shine. Oh, basically, I'm just painting white on the uh, on the right side of the image, just to again kill some of the contrast. Mm -hmm. 